Wait, what? Weren't you taller than the last time I saw you? What happened? Hey, what's up my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Robot Spirit Pacific Rim Uprising Gypsy Avenger. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right here in the background, we have the symbol for the Pan Pacific Defense Corps. Gypsy Avenger on this side of the box. We have Gypsy Avenger on the other side of the box. We have Gypsy Avenger on the top. Gypsy Avenger Pacific Rim Uprising logo on the bottom. More Gypsy Avenger on the back of the box. You have your obligatory product shots. It does this at the other, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have a Gypsy Avenger, the first figure in this Robot Spirits line of Yegas. So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the details. Let's take a look at that head sculpt. There we go. Um, very nicely done. Head sculpt here, nice gold for the visor. You got the red stripes going down the head. You got some nice tampograph detailing as well. Got some nice gunmetal gray. You can see the central portion here is done in a transclearant orange plastic. You got some more paintwork here on the shoulders. You have the symbol there for the core. And just moving down the body. Again, lots of nice detail going on with this figure. Got some tampograph numbers on there. 7385. All around, very nicely done, very nicely detailed. Going up the back here. Uh, these pieces, these back pieces are uh, packed separately in the box. And you can see they just they just peg right in. Very easy, easy peasy. But yeah. Looks quite, quite good. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint, so you do get some wiggly-waggly. I can look up a little bit, can look down a good bit. Full 360 degree range of rotation there. The base of the neck is also on a hinge, so you get a little bit of forward and backward movement. Uh, the shoulders, uh, the shoulder pads are on a ball joint, so they'll... They'll kind of get out of the way for you, kind of, sort of. They, they try, they try to get out of the way for you. But the shoulder pads are on a ball joint. The shoulders are on a ball joint at the base here as well as up in there in the arm itself. Um, so the arms can move out about that far, can do a full 360 degree range of rotation. And of course you can have those shoulders sitting up, sitting down. You can bring them forward and back as well. So you have a, a good amount of uh, range of movement there. You know, again, the shoulder pad will hinder it a bit, but still not too bad. And it is pretty easy to just pop these off as well. <laughs> pop it back on. You stay. You, you stay. You stay. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you do have a bicep rotation. You have a double jointed elbow. So you have a nice full range of movement there. The wrists are on a ball joint at both ends here. So you have some good wiggly waggly movement there at the arms as well as rotation. As you can see, you can pretty much have those hands going in any direction you want. The torso itself is on a ball joint. So you get rotation as well as some wiggly waggly. You get a little bit, very slight ab crunch, a little bit of arching there. But you get some good wiggly waggly movement there. Um, now this section here is just, it's, it's weird, but it definitely adds to the articulation, but it's just weird how it works. Um, this intersection here of the crotch can actually shift from side to side. As you can see, it just, it can shift one, one way or the other, and that's to accommodate leg movement. So if you have one Gypsy Avenger doing them high kicks, you can totally have that going on. And, uh, that's, it's weird, but it's, it's, it's an effective joint right there. Um, the hips are on a ball joint right up here, and this section of the hip is also on, on a ball joint right there at the base, which allows the hip to move outward right there, which again, helps with those high kicks if you need Gypsy Avenger to do those high kicks. And you do also have a thigh rotation. You have a double jointed knee, so you get a nice full range of movement there at the knee. The feet are on a ball joint. They can move up, they can move down. 
you get some tiltage as well as a bit of rotation there. So quite, quite posable is this Jaeger. So you got that going on. So now let's go through some comparisons. Uh, here it is with the NECA Movie 1 Gypsy Danger. As you can see how it scales there. Here it is with the Diamond Select Gypsy Avenger. So you can see how those two scale with one another. And just so you can get a sense of scale here, here it is with Figuarts Common Rider Gaim. As you can see how it scales with a standard Figuarts. So yeah, that's... And for those who follow my Transformers reviews, here he is with Power of the Primes Voyager Starscream. And you can see Gypsy Avenger is pretty much Voyager sized height wise. So now let's run through the accessories. You don't get a lot of accessories with this figure. But what you get is still pretty cool. Um, you do get an extra set of hands here. Uh, the open hands, which are very nicely detailed. Look very good. Uh, the hands are very easy to swap. They're just on ball joints, so they just pop right off like so, and you just pop on the new hands like so. Again, pretty easy to install. And as if this didn't look enough like an Iron Man suit, give it those kind of hands. <laughs> yeah. Are you sure Tony Stark isn't behind this? Isn't behind this? Uh, Behind this operation, are we sure about this? Are we going to see a Pacific Rim Avengers crossover at some point? Because this just makes too much sense now. It really does. It really, really does. But anyway. Uh, <laughs> let's continue through with the accessories here. Uh, what else do we get? We get the Gravity Sling. Which again, very nicely detailed. I love this Transclear and Blue piece. Gives it that nice effect right there. You can see that done in a very nice silver. Looks quite, quite good. And the forms are pretty easy to swap as well. Just pops right off. And you want to make sure you line up the, uh, the peg is a specific shape there. So you want to make sure that the port is lined up properly. And you just take it and just push that on. Sometimes this can be a little bit of a pain about to get on. There we go. There you go. There you go, Gypsy Avenger with the gravity sling. And you do also get a form with the sword. And the sword done in a nice metallic paint. Looks really, really good. And form itself, again, nicely detailed. Got a little bit of red in there. And we can just swap out this forearm here and replace it with the sword like so and if you want to you can plug this hand onto the ball socket if you wish but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense it makes more sense to plug the fist on it so there you go so gypsy avenger has its sword this looks pretty pretty cool and that's pretty much all you get accessory-wise. Like I said, pretty light on accessories, but still, very, very nicely done figure. And one more thing to note, I almost forgot to talk about this, but if we come back here, you can remove Gypsy Avengers, uh, you can remove the butt plate here. Oh, the jokes. Oh, the jokes you guys are going to make, I already know. But if you remove the butt plate, you do have a port here for a uh, display stand, for the Tamashi display stands, if you want to use them, if you want to have Gypsy Avenger and some, uh, some jumping, flying poses there, you have a port for a stand right there. So, just wanted to point that out right there. So there you have Gypsy Avenger, um, a very well done figure in my opinion. Um, it looks good, it feels good, uh, you know, just a very solid, fun, playable figure 
Very good quality. My only real complaint is that I wish it came with some more accessories. I, I would have liked the double chainsaw arms like the uh, Diamond Select version came with, but oh well, it is what it is. But all in all, though, um, as I said, very solid, fun figure to mess with. So there you go. Now, if you would like this or any other Pacific Rim toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my Pacific Rim playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Robot Spirit Pacific Rim Uprising Gypsy Avenger, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! All right, we have to give it everything we've got to save the world! Now oh, shut up, do we really need more do-gooder robots around here? Jeez! Prime is annoying enough as it is!